responded back from you know the the last two you know close games that we had but you know at the end of the day you know when we have a team down by 20 we have to put them down you know what I'm saying we can't give them any life and, and make it a, a free throw shooting contest so those type of things that coach V talked about in the locker room we have somebody down you know we got to put them away really stops and we had clutch buckets too we started rebounding we didn't rebound well in the first half and we got the crucial stops and started rebounding that was it Oh yeah, definitely. Like like I tell Javon, you know, keep your head up. You know what I'm saying? You you might miss five, but just know that the sixth one is going in. So at the end of the day, they kept shooting. They had their feet set. They wouldn't, you know, falling back or, or <laughs> leg kicking. But at the end of the day, they shot the ball well. Yeah, we we we, we locked down and guarded, got stops, made shots. Um, you know, my my frustration was we went up by 21, and instead of putting the game away, we gave them hope. And you can't do that with none of the teams in our league. I don't, I don't care how much you're up by. You, you, you got to put teams away. And, and you know, I got a lot of respect for Kevin Muff and that staff over there in that program. But, you know, you know, it was good to see Javon Taylor knock down shots. It was good to see, you know, Terrence's stat line. I, I, didn't, I didn't notice it until just now until Greg Ray told me 17, 9, 8, and 4. I mean, I mean that's, that's, that's impressive. And, and, um, you, you know, the biggest thing, he let us in rebound and let us in assists and let us in steals and let us in points. So, always, when he's locked in like that, we got a chance to do special things.